reaching the age of adolescence students this is our chapter 10 let us proceed to it one of the most important features of living things is their ability to grow and reproduce human beings and other animals grow up to a certain age and then they can reproduce in this chapter, we will learn about changes that take place in the human body after which a person becomes capable of reproduction. We will study adolescence and puberty, changes during puberty like increase in height, change in body shape, voice change, increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands, development of sex organs, reaching mental, intellectual and emotional maturity. Adolescence and puberty. The period of life when the body undergoes changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence. It begins around the age of 11 and lasts up to 18 or 19 years of age. Since this period covers the teens, that is 13 to 18 or 19 years of age, adolescents are also called teenagers. In girls, adolescents may begin a year or two earlier than in boys. The period of adolescence varies from person to person. The human body undergoes several changes during adolescence. These changes mark the onset of puberty. So the age at which the sex hormones and sex gametes begin to be produced and a boy or a girl becomes sexually mature is called puberty. Growing up is a natural process. The various stages of growth in human beings are infancy. This is the stage of growth and maturity from birth to about two years of age. The second stage of growth and maturity is childhood. It is the stage of growth and maturity from about 2 years to 11 years of age. This is childhood. Then comes the age of adolescence. From the year about 11 years to 18 or 19 years of age. This is adolescence. Let us now discuss what happens at puberty? Yes, it is a striking question. There are certain changes at puberty like increase in height. At this time during puberty, there is a sudden increase in the height of both boys and girls. The bones elongate and make a person tall. Initially, Girls grow faster than boys, but by about 18 years of age, both reach their maximum height. The rate of growth in height varies in different individuals. Some may grow suddenly at puberty and then slow down, while others may grow gradually. You know, all parts of the body do not grow at the same rate. Height depends on the genes inherited from parents. 
it is also very important to eat the right kind of food during these growing years. Sometimes the arms and legs or hands or feet of adolescents look oversized and out of proportion with the body. But soon the other parts also grow and the body becomes proportionate. So the body height depends on two factors, inheritance and nutrition. The major contribution is from the genes and a qualitative effect is given by nutrition. Foods rich in proteins and vitamins help the bones, muscles and other parts of the body to get adequate nourishment for growth. One must be aware of a balanced diet according to their age and height in proportion to the weight of the body. The next change is in the body shape. Shoulders generally broaden as a result of growth. In girls, the region below the waist becomes wider. And in boys, the body muscles grow more prominently than in the girls. Thus, changes occurring in adolescent boys and girls are different. In girls, hips gain weight and the region below the waist is known as pelvic region and it becomes wider. And the development of breasts also begins during the age of puberty in females. Next change is the change in voice. At puberty, the voice box or the larynx begins to grow. Voice develop larger voice boxes. The growing voice box in boys can be seen as a protruding part of the throat called Adam's apple. In girls, the larynx is hardly visible from the outside because of its small size. Generally, girls have a high-pitched voice, whereas Boys have a deep voice. Students, you may have noticed that the voice of some of the boys in your class becomes rough or hoarse. This is temporary abnormality in muscles of the growing voice box. This state may remain for a few days or few weeks even. After that, the voice becomes normal. This is a natural change, nothing to be stressed about. These are just the changes at puberty. You don't have to panic. Okay, then there are certain changes in other ways also. Let us discuss them. Increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands. During puberty, the secretion of sweat glands and sebaceous glands, that is oil glands, increases. Many young people get acne and pimples on the face at this time because of the increased activity of these glands in the skin. Actually, these are the two important glands in human body. The sweat glands produce sweat and the sebaceous glands produce oil or sebum. 
which keeps the skin oily because of the increased activity of these two glands namely sweat and sebaceous glands the secretion of sweat and oil increases and lead to skin diseases like acne and pimples on the face the next change is development of sex organs the male sex organs like the testes and panis develop completely at this stage the testes also begin to produce male sex gamete that is sperm in girls the ovaries enlarge and eggs begin to mature that means the process of menstruation starts in females this is the stage when ovaries start releasing matured eggs and the female sex organs actually enlarges and develop completely at this age like ovaries oviducts uterus etc this is the age where the male and female are able to reproduce they get sexually matured thanks for watching